How to research the history of your fire department. Start with a blank sheet of paper and write down each of the milestones that come to mind. First fire station built. First fire engine acquired. First fire chief named. Major fire. Second fire station built, etc. From there, add a date to each of those milestones. And there may be people in the department, maybe you yourself know some of these off the top of your head. From there, fact check those dates by finding one or more pieces of written information to confirm the milestone, the date, and any details about it. Maybe you have old newspaper clippings and scrapbooks. Maybe there are written records in the department files. Maybe department members have surviving records. There may be local libraries or museums that have information that can help you. You may also have an existing written history of your department that someone has already compiled. If that is the case, I recommend auditing that written history, going line by line, milestone by milestone, and putting your hands on one or more written sources of information to validate what's in that document. You may find that everything is perfectly and entirely accurate, or you may find that some dates are off or other bits of information. Next, I recommend using a Word document with a table as a way to manage that information those milestones and the timeline that you're building. I recommend opening up a blank document in Microsoft Word, adding four or five columns, and for each row, you're gonna put a milestone. So in the first column, you're gonna put the date. In the second column, you're gonna write a short description, built new fire station. In the third column, you're gonna give more information, built first fire station at 100 Main Street. In the fourth column, you're going to write the source or the sources for where to find this information. That way, if you ever need to, you can go back and find the original source of information to verify what you have in your document or to look for more information. In the fifth column, put any additional notes. You might add additional details. Maybe you're gonna make an editorial comment such as this date is listed in the newspaper, but it might be wrong, need to check other sources. Once you've gone through this document and you've added all your milestones, you can then use the sort feature to sort the document by date, and you now have a timeline and in a sort of worksheet format. For an example of this, I recommend getting on Google, look up my last name, and Chapel Hill Fire Department, and you'll see research notes that I did some years ago and this type of table format to manage the milestones about the department as I learned and recorded them.